You have three main levels of folders. You have a trailer tent, first of all, uh, something which comes away from the box and pegs down to the floor. Folding campers come out of the box and the canvas ends at the bed level. And a folding caravan is something you can use all year round, rigid sides, rigid body, and it is really built for all year round. Gilbert caravans have been going for a great quite a number of years, since the 1970s in fact. In fact, in that particular period, there was a lot of folding caravans around, but Gobo have seen a lot of the foreign competition, and there's one reason for that, because they're full of a traditional build and the very desirable little folding caravans to own. Here we have the Carousel 12 stroke 2 TD. Now this is incredible, because when you think how it falls down flat on the road for towing, and yet when it's on site, it's a real caravan. And it probably has more space than a conventional caravan because it is basically like a square box. The way they go up and down and the way they're constructed is the same as it's been for many years. It is like a shoebox, basically. The, the lid, one-piece roof moulding, captivates everything else. So when a sidewall goes over a base wall, it overlaps. So it reduces the risk of any drafts, any water ingress. There's a separate box for you to put the battery in there, and your power cable. There's actually also another thing is a mains outlet socket, which is also very useful. You've got an awning light, you've got a full awning rail. In fact, you've got everything a conventional caravan has. Only this folds to something nice, neat and compact and very, very, very easy to store. We have 10 models in the range. Three are the narrow, what we call the slimline models, with them without toilet compartments. And then we have seven models in the standard width and clubman ranges, which means they are wider. Uh, 2.08 metres wide uh, and within those again we didn't with them without toilet compartments and so the the area inside will change from van to van and we incorporate a 3-4 berth layout in there as well. Here we are inside the, the standard 12. I'll tell you something it's almost TARDIS like look at this. The lounge you could get four people in here no problem at all this is actually only a two berth believe it or not but you can entertain your guests. In, in all the caravans we build them bespoke for people. They finish them off how they want them, they choose on the colourings, if a special adaptation they would like done, we will do that. We try and get them as near as we can to an upmarket touring van, but still make it into a trailer. So all the things we do inside, we see new things, new innovations coming to other caravans, we'll look to see what we can incorporate into our own vans, but it still has to be able to fold up like a box. It's got a cassette toilet in there, it's got electric flush, it's also got a little hand basin that folds down, it's brilliant. It's very compact. They've also put a toilet window in there so you can get some ventilation in and some great daylight. And they've not stopped there because at the top, they put a roof vent in. So again, you're not only getting the daylight in, you've got some more ventilation. You've got a smart little vanity unit. It all really neatly fits together. We fit them with heating. Uh, it's all double glazed. Um, it has washing facilities. Obviously in the kitchens, which have to fold up and down. So we have got flexible gas hose, things like that. They all have to move. Here we have. A sink, a stainless steel sink, tap, and we've got a four burner hob. Not bad. You've also got a bit of storage space up here and here for putting little odds and ends. And to be in here feels very spacious and roomy. Probably more so than a conventional caravan. It's a box because it all that's what it needs to be when it's on site. When it's on the road, it's aerodynamic and easy to tow and very economy. For towing, you've got something here which is just below the height of the average car, so you don't get the wind drag, much more stable, smaller car to tow it. And for a lot of people, fuel economy now is a key thing. So not having that wind drag makes it more economic to tow. It's a brilliant design. We have different models, 10 different models, all take about the same time. To put the main structure up, you're talking about two minutes, and then to sort of the insides out, which vary from van to van, about another three or four minutes. Well, the Gobo is very impressive. The fact that this folds down to such a small, compact size is just beyond belief. The benefits of having the folding caravan are it's easy to tow, easy to store, fuel economy is much, much improved, and the ease of erecting the caravan. If I had a small car, and I still wanted to go caravanning, and I want an investment, because these things hold the value really well, I could really go for one of these. At Shield, we are specialists, we understand folding caravans, we offer discounts of up to 60% on our product, and we're one of the only insurers to offer a 5% discount for keeping your caravan safe inside a locked garage.